Welcome back to Front of the Bench, everybody. That was a tough game. Um, and what does Eric, what does the bench do when you run into a, a heartbreaking loss like the Avalanche just did? Up after two periods, played a great second period. Loved it, loved every minute of it. All the hitting, it's everything I literally mentioned on Twitter, like in game four, the reasons why the Avalanche were losing. They fixed every little bit of it. I'm so happy. Um, and they got away from it in the third. And they also just made some really bonehead plays. Landy had a bad pass. Barkovsky had a bad turnover. And then in overtime, Graves. I love him. He's a maritime boy. He's a great guy. Uh, but he just loves shooting his shin to shin pads. Shoots it once, gets blocked. And instead of just, you know, you're in overtime. Just calm it down. Everything else, I understand it's, like, exciting. Um, but anyways, he just... Mark Stone goes down and pots another winner. Uh, so, I got some of these today. So, I got three of these. They're the ones with the oversized young gun. Uh, and I've yet to pull a Kale McCarr. I've opened up quite a bit of Series 2, hoping to get Kale McCarr. Way more than it would be just to buy a Kale McCarr. Uh, <laughs> but, is what it is. Series 2 for this actually has a ton of really good guys, though. So you're looking at Nick Suzuki, which is obviously pretty hot right now. You know, on the third round of the playoffs already. Uh, you got Kale McCarr. Uh, you got uh, Zadina. Uh, who's the other one? You get Capo Caco. You get Kirby Doc. So there's a lot of pretty big names in these that you can kind of get for young guns. Um, so we're going to get right into it. I say get right into it. We're already two minutes into this video. Classic bench over here just rambling on. But... Um, yeah, like I said hopefully I can pull a camel car. Maybe that will turn around my mood. I got five of these in total today. Um, the other two are in the bag below me. For right now, we'll probably just do the three and go on from there. But let's see what we get. The first, I think this is. No, it's not. Uh, Eric Brandstrom. So the our jumbo is Eric Brandstrom. Traded. Um, Pretty sure he was part of that tr trade, one of the trades. So, put the jumbo over there. I'm not a big jumbo guy. Uh, these you're looking if you guys have never opened these before. Um, they were thirty-two dollars Canadian. Uh, Walmart. When I found them, there's eight cards per pack, six packs per box. You get a young gun. Same as always, one every four packs. So there's a chance that I get one young gun out of this so let's hope it's a good one backdrop um i was gonna say it's guys that i've played so mac obviously started off the playoffs on fire uh you know just going crazy had a rough last couple of games it's like he's just trying to force it like just not playing his game uh he is getting physical which i do like so that's nice to see um tyson jost i just really liked his game so far all playoffs, uh, he's just played really well. Jumped into that top six role with Kadri, you know, obviously not being there. I think he's fit in very well. Um, you know, had the, obviously the chance tonight, um, you know, if for some reason Nemeth could actually pass a puck back. Great plan by Nemeth to get the, you know, a quick pass back, but not what you want to see, uh, you know, pass back into his skates and still kind of collected it, took a shot, couldn't get it, but, um, but yeah, so a couple of guys that I've been kind of high on. Uh, I've liked Connor Timmons. I just got that card in not long ago. It's Miko Rantanen. It's just a base back. Nico Heischer. Gosterberg. So, like I said, I just... Connor Timmons, I think for, you know, a guy that's battled injuries and everything else, I think he's looked really well. Um, you know, it's put him on the second D pairing, and I think you're good. He plays physical, which is what I like about him. Uh, doesn't shy away from any of that. So we get Jumbo Joe. Some stories about him through Tori Mitchell from Sit and Checklets. Hilarious. Uh, Roman Yossi. We get a portrait of Ilya Mikheyev. Here's some people like trashing him. Colin Wilson. So we're getting lots of avalanche. Hopefully that's a good sign. Here's some people like bash Ilya Mikheyev and all the stuff that he kind of did in the playoffs, which, by the way, is nothing. Um, that is what he did in the playoffs. So no young guns yet. 
We are three packs into this. Patrick Lining no longer there. Ryan Getzlav. Trevor Moore for the Leafs. I feel like I pulled quite a few Trevor Moore. Uh, there's our first young gun. John Gibson, Gallagher, Mitchie Marner. Talking about somebody disappearing in the playoffs. Uh, and James Neal. The real deal, James Neal. So we get Trevor Moore thrown over here into a top loader. A sleeve. That one's got glue on it for some reason. I don't know why. Some of these have fell down the other day. I got the cats here. There, there's hair over them. Oh, it's just terrible. That's what we got here, people. I'm watching one of the cats right now. He's like eyeing. As if he wants to like jump up here. Not going to happen. Not today. It's Trevor Moore. First young gun. That might be our only young gun, though. Hopefully not. Hopefully we get two young guns in all five packs. Hopefully somebody else in the production got, you know, the other half of the box got only the one young gun per pack. Uh, Ryan Hartman, Nick Backstrom, Sammy Votnin. This is a marquee rookie of some guy I've never heard of. Carson Twinarski. I think I actually said the name pretty good. Uh, Vasilevsky is a monster. Caroline just had... No answer for him. Like, I don't know what you do if you're Carolina. Like, that's just so hard. You're playing against a guy that is, you know, with that defense in front of him. And when he's on, he's on. And it's just wild. Uh, we got Ryan DeZingle, Phil Bula, Matt Martin, Cody Cece, Gus uh, Nyquist, Dubinsky. Okay, so one pack left in this blaster. I said, usually when I I did this with the, the, the mega for basketball the other night, I was like, ah, know what? I'm gonna try to pick my spirits up. I'm gonna open some cards. Did not go well. We'll see how this one goes. Let's see if we can get a little better. Braden Point, he's on absolute roll right now. It's always like some times with like cards, especially with hockey cards. I know I say it all the time about Miko Rantanen, that his cards don't make any sense. But, like, Braden Point, his cards aren't that high. He's awesome. Like, it's just one of those things that's so weird. Uh, this is going to be a canvas, I think. Maybe not. Jamie Benn. JT Miller. No, just a base bag. Okay. So, first one. Got an Eric Brandstrom Jumbo. A Trevor Moore, Young Gun. On to box two. It's got to get better from there, right? Oh, my Lanta. The bench is luck, ladies and gentlemen. It's not getting any better. I'm telling you that right now. Uh, this is going to be... For... This is Barrett Hayton. He's a former top 10 pick or something, I think. Can't remember. Barrett Hayton. Bam. Jumbo over there. Six packs out. I actually would have rather these be like the regular blasters and not the jumbo blasters because like I just don't care about the jumbos. And then obviously the odds are a little better because you're not getting a jumbo. That's, like I said, not what I want. But I went to Walmart. People had already got all the Chronicles for basketball and football, which I've opened. You guys have seen it. I opened up the Chronicle uh, fat packs on here. It's okay. It's a fun little rip, but not really for me um, as a whole. Chris Letang, Zabinajad, Adam Boquist. Hopefully we see his teammate later on. But yeah, I just, I, I always kind of go check the end aisles and see what they got for Fat packs for hockey's, you know, old packs and stuff like that. And then I always stop by and see if they've like put any blasters like this or tins out or anything like that. So I was pretty happy with uh, finding these for sure. You can't find anything for Series 2 for last year. It just doesn't exist. Uh, and when you do find it, it's always pretty expensive. Noah Dobson. President's Cup winning. I think Memorial Cup winning. Uh, Adam 
or Noah Dobson. I don't know. You just call him Adam. Uh, Noah Dobson. Just out there winning. Islanders. You guys are watching this. Won't be out yet, but do the Islanders win? Do they beat the Bruins? Can my poor Avalanche come back against <laughs> Vegas? I'm keeping. I said I saw a lot of good tonight. Um, Carey Price. Give me a second, people. I'm gonna turn down that a bit. Apparently, batteries are on low here. Uh, we get a, our first young guns. So how is this going? So it's gonna be. It's a right winger. It's gonna be for. Julian Goche. Once again, not really the young gun we're looking for here, but Julian Goche for the Hurricanes just got eliminated. They're just a Tampa. It's just so hard to a Tampa because they just, you know, get Kucherov for free, not against a cap, you know, and then they're playing by the rules, but. You just get somebody like Kucherov for free. You know, we just added a one of the best players in the league for your playoff run at no extra cost. You can run your salary cap at whatever you want. Um, it's hard, you know. Um, Bobrovsky's junk. Calvin DeHaan. My guts are talking over here. Uh, Alexander Edler. Maddie Duchesne. Braden Coburn. Travis Konechny. Eric Johnson. Bring out our buddy, Kale McCarr. They're not, uh, he actually apparently was skating today for the first time all season. I don't even know what's wrong with EJ. I don't know if it's like a, they haven't really said all year. They're just like, he's out. He's been out all year. Um, Joss Manson, Zach Cassian, Timo Meyer. We got another portraits here. Oh, we got OPG. Oh, I thought it was a portraits. Got a peachy of Barrett Hayton. This is a Barrett Hayton box, apparently. Last one. I was talking like we maybe we're the ones that got all the one card in the blasters. The other Walmart got the rest of them. Uh, <laughs> Robin Leonard, Joel Mia. Yeah, that's exactly what happened here. Oh my God, Peter Mrazek, Roslevic, Corpusalo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is not. This is a typical bench fashion. It's uh, opening all these. No hits yet. So the young gun, the jumbo is. Clem Costin. I just watched the Avalanche take them on. I don't remember seeing a Clem Costin, so that's not a good sign. A young gun from last year that's not in the playoffs, not in the lineup in the playoffs. Probably not the most expensive young gun in the world. Ryan McDonough, Aaron Eckblad. He's back. They might have a better shot. Jaden Schwartz, Morgan Frost. Okay, not a terrible young gun. Did I pull more? I pulled a Morgan Frost out of the fat packs I opened up not long ago. But here we go, Morgan Frost. Bam. I feel like Morgan Frost is one of the more sought after guys out of this, probably even when they release the product. That doesn't give me a whole lot of hope for hitting somebody big here. I feel like they kind of maybe they don't do that for this product. But I feel like they do that for a lot of products. You know, they're gonna just hold, you know, one good guy with one less good guy. Um, you know, some 25 year old, you know, vet, <laughs> rookie, I guess. But uh, Orla, Jumbo again, Roman Yossi again. We got a canvas of Jimmy VC. Started coming along, I guess, a little bit this year. Not really, never really turned out to be what he was supposed to be. You know, he essentially kind of picked a spot, decided he's going to go to the New York Rangers years ago. 
didn't really work out for him. Uh, Patrick Laine, Ryan Gatslav, Ryan Hartman, Backstrom, Marcia So, he's killing me the series. JT Miller, Adam Larson. That Marcia So is just like a slap in the face at this point. We got Sammy Vatnin, Andrew Shaw, Ryan Zingle. Phil Pula, Corey Perry is a monster in the playoffs. Miro Haskinen and Leas Anderson. Miro Haskinen, I'm not a big, well, I'm a Colorado fan. But, like, if you're, like, a Dallas Stars fan, or you're just looking for, like, a young defenseman maybe to kind of jump onto to invest, Miro Haskinen is probably not a bad idea. Uh, his cards are super low right now compared to what they usually are. And uh, he's pretty good. Cody CC, breaking point. There we go. There we got Capo Kakinen. So we got our two young guns. He was playing, I think he was a backup. I think he played a bunch this year, though, for the Wild. Obviously, Cam Talbot in the playoffs was the guy. How close were they to beating Vegas? How close? I don't have another one set up. Uh, I don't have any of those set up. We'll put him here. There, we'll spread them all out. Capital Kakinen. Last pack. Maybe we get three young guns. Maybe it's just like this is the craziest. Breaker box of all, or blaster box of all time. Probably not. Uh, <laughs> William Carlson, Alex Debrinkat, uh, Jamie Ben, Jacob Verana, Neil Poink, Jacob Trocheck, Matthew Kachuk, and one Mr. Jack Eichel. Where does he end up? So uh, that's the break. That's the opening, I guess. Not a really a break, uh, but. There it is. We got Trevor Moore, Kepo Kakinen, um, Goche, Julian Goche, and Morgan Frost. So not terrible. I get two more down there. That'll be in maybe the next episode, maybe a couple episodes from now. Um, we'll open up those. You guys can kind of see. Can we hit our first Camel Car of all time? I'm really hoping. Like I've got to open up a lot of boxes, obviously, for a lot of other products. I got a bunch of guys that I couldn't care about. I got, you know, some Tim Tsutsels and some Caprizovs and I got like six bone Byrams. Um, you know, that's all great and fine dandy. Liked Kale McCarr. Would really like that one. Uh, would settle for a Kirby Doc. Would settle at the same time for a Nick Suzuki. Not trying to be picky here. Just putting that out there in the world. Uh, so anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, for Eric, from the bench. Catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.